Got him. I have PTSD. I have post-traumatic disorder. I've got five baby mamas, and two of them I know have cheated on me. Just take my balls! We got Sydney Warren over here. I'll be sure. Let's go. Hi, right, let's do it then. One is on your mark. See it? Go. <laughs> Come on, man. That's too easy. If you can't afford to fucking subscribe to my channel, fucking leave. I fucking hate you guys. Stop sending one bit. If you can't afford to subscribe, fucking leave. You can't afford my channel. I don't want poor people in my f***ing chat. Serious at this point, if they don't need less than 100 bits, f***ing ban them. They're disgusting. I'm sorry, if they're f***ing disgusting and they can't afford more than one dollar, f***ing ban them. I'm serious. They're disgusting. They can't even afford one fucking dollar. One dollar. Bomb them. If it's just a dollar, why are you begging for it? I will never for the life of me understand why grown men will give their money to women that don't even like them. And I'm not saying it's good, but at least in the past, when you gave hundreds of dollars, you would at least get to sleep with the women. There are guys donating hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars just to message a woman. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Black China ain't messaging you. Bella Thorne ain't messaging you. While you sitting there beating your meat, the person on the other side of that phone is some 20 year old Indonesian guy. Gay! My video. Watch out. No, nobody wants to see you. Damn. It's an evil world we live in. Sir, I thought you didn't give pretty girls tickets. You're right, we don't. Sign here. You're going to learn today. Him, 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 her, him, him, bodies, 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 bodies. I went home with him and I slept with him. Oh. Yeah, I know what happened. Oh. What? Well, Brian bet me. 50 bucks and a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> what? That he could sleep with you. So now I'm down 50 bucks and a pack of cigarettes. Bang, 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 bang. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 Bodies, 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 bodies. I honestly hate to see stuff like this. It's so tragic to see a man lose $50 in a pack of cigarettes. But I guess $50 in a pack of cigarettes is a lot cheaper than raising somebody else's kid. That's how you turn a frown upside down. This dude is a walking W. He didn't even give her the luxury of seeing him upset. That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. Uh, 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 uh. Women. <laughs> bum, bum. I just don't understand. I don't understand. He's 28. He's a bum. Why does she want him but not me? I don't understand. I got good grades. I got a future. I'm like, why? And that's what I realized. They want bums. They want bums. And that's why you don't do that. I changed everything. I got a fade that week and everything. I started just going crazy. I'm like, hey. That's why I always pay attention to who a woman's dated in the past. Some women just like chaos. They're addicted to the up and down. They're addicted to the inconsistency. They're addicted to the chaos. They're addicted to it so much so that when they get into a relationship with a decent guy, they get bored. And when they get bored, they go right back to that guy they said was toxic. It's not our job to try to save a woman that's addicted to chaos. I'm a control freak, I apologize. I love it. What do you control other than a fork and a spoon? What the f are you talking about? I lost weight for you, asshole. Look at this. I Holy shit. <laughs> Where did you lose this? This is the after picture. <laughs> so you live in Colorado? I'm actually kind of like nomadic, homeless right now between scenes. Are you really homeless if you're built like a house? <laughs> That clip actually came from a comedy show where people volunteer to get roasted. Shout out to that lady who was able to take a joke. It just shows a certain amount of humility. It builds character. Do you think that most men would simp for you? Definitely, definitely, for sure. You 100% confident in that? 1000%. Let's get it, we'll do three runs? Okay, I got one question for you. What's that? Would you simp for me? Simp? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know, so you want to like take me on dates and like buy me stuff and stuff like that? I gotta take myself on a date first. <laughs> I, was, I didn't ask that though. I don't know. I'm 20, so you might not like me. Would you send for me? Spending mad bag on oh, you, yeah, that's definitely something. Cause I'm not doing that for no female. 
<laughs> What'd you send for me? You looking? You looking? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. No. I'm not a there was not a single ounce of simping in they pimping. If you giving your time, money, and attention to a woman that ain't reciprocating any value, you gotta get that simping out your pimping. That's why you shouldn't compare yourself to social media. This is what I would normally show. But 99% of the day, this is what I look like. I can still flex and work the lighting a little bit, but most of the time I'm just chilling. Like, there's nothing nothing crazy going on here. This is, this is why you can't rely on social media. Do you also consider her obese? I think And would you say that yes. she's unhealthy? Medically, I would say she's obese, but I couldn't say she's unhealthy because I don't know how she lives her life. I agree. Like, I don't know what she eats. I don't know what she is does it, with her isn't day. Isn't her body the resume of what she eats and what she does with her Not day? Not necessarily. <laughs> Tell me more. What am I missing? Well, again, there's a lot of genetic factors. And also medical factors it's, too. Yeah. There are a lot of like PCOS and a lot of uh, medical diseases and uh, problems that contribute to people being Biggest let's, set. Let's and say that she wasn't one of those extreme outliers mm. that does have some kind of severe medical illness that causes her obesity, mm -hmm. and that it was a consequence of her lifestyle choices. Do you think she's a good role model for young people? I don't think I know enough about her to make an assessment. Well, on let's that. say, let's say, yeah. with, in regard to her body mm. and the way that she treats it, assuming that it is a consequence of her lifestyle choices, mm. is she a good role model? There's a lot of factors into that. I don't know her diet. Mm. I don't know her exercise I, routine. Wouldn't you say that you know it just by looking at no, her? No, absolutely. Why not? Because I don't know her. I don't know her. And I, I can't say what your exercise routine is. But you can look at me and say, he looks like he eats a healthy amount. I can't. And he takes care of himself. This, I can't though. I think, I, I think that's where we'll disagree. I think I can look at people and say, this person is overweight and does not take care of themselves. I don't think you should though. Mm. Why not? Because that's unfair, you don't know that person. I'm gonna go on a little rant, so if you have the attention span of a chicken sandwich, this part of the video probably isn't for you. I'm tired of people trying to act like bad habits are okay and in some cases trying to say that they're healthy. For example, I like to smoke a little bit of the devil's lettuce from time to time, but I still understand that it's not good. I hate when people try to say, it's not addictive, it can actually be healthy. It doesn't make you lazy, look at Joe Rogan. Let's just be honest, you ain't Joe Rogan. I hate when people say that bad habits are okay because once you start to believe that your bad habits are okay, you have no moral obligation to change the behavior. Anything that gives you a sense of happiness without hard work is pleasure. Drinking, smoking, eating all of those are pleasure and the biggest problems with pleasure is that it makes you complacent and it's addictive and when you have an entire culture that thinks it's okay to be addicted to pleasure you have a crumbling society let me know in the comments below if this video was a w or l and give me the hbo special that's the help of brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time